Today, Matthew does discuss the mental math division strategy using multiples to help us to divide. And to start, we look at the divisor and we find we list the multiples of the divisor. Today, we didn't list the multiples, but it is a strategy that you can use. And a way to think of multiples is just counting by the numbers. So I've got a list of the, the multiples of 5 over here. And these multiples are going to help us pick some numbers to divide by. So I'm going to come over, next I'm going to come over and start with 68. And instead of looking at, at 68 as 68, I'm going to break it down into multiples of 5. So the easiest numbers for me to choose would be 50 plus 15 plus 3. 50 plus 15 plus 3 all equals 68. Then I'm going to divide each of those by 5. So 50 divided by 5 would be 10. Plus 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now, when I get to this 3, 3 is not a multiple of 5, and I can't get any groups of 5 from 3, so that's going to be my remainder. So if I have 10 plus 3 plus the remainder of 3, my answer is going to be 13 remainder 3. So my answer to 68 divided by 5 is 13 remainder 3. And... The goal of this eventually is to be able to do these types of problems in your head using this strategy. The next uh, problem that we're going to do is 74 divided by 6. And this time I'm not going to write out the multiples because if you're doing this in your head, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be writing out the multiples. And we're going to start by looking at the divisor of 6. So what are the multiples of 6 that can help us... Um, that can help us to uh, find an equivalent name for 74. So the easiest one in my head to start with is 60. 60 is a multiple of 6. It's close to 74. Then to that, the next multiple I'm going to add is 12. 60 plus 12 is 72, which leaves me with 2 left over. So an e equivalent name for 74 could be 60 plus 12 plus 2. Now I'm going to divide each of those by 6. So 60 divided by 6 is 10 plus 6 divided by, or excuse me, 12 divided by 6, which is 2. 2 is not a multiple of 6, so t we're going to have a remainder of 2. So now if I take all of these, put them together, I, en I end up with 12 remainder 2, and the answer for 74 divided by 6 is 12 remainder 2. It's kind of a bad R there. If you have any questions about this, make sure you ask your teacher um, tomorrow, and um, for your homework tonight, do the best you can, and like I said, if you have questions, we'll go over it again tomorrow.